Hey guys, welcome back. This is AjaxG here with another video. So this is going to be a quick one. Please make sure you do not drink unless you are 21 or older. All right. So now let's get into the setup. So I haven't done a setup video in a while because my setup hasn't changed that much. But someone had asked me to talk about my PC build and to show it off. Because I have these big ass monitors, I'm not going to move them to do some cinematic ass video. But I am going to go over my specs um, and show you how it looks like on the inside. So this is my PC. I had to move my monitors to the side so y'all can see it. Um, so this is how it looks. So I have my snack to the side of me. So, you know, I'm doing this uh, pretty quickly for you guys. So I have an AMD Ryzen 7 2700X. Okay. When I initially built this PC, which was um, February of 2019, I had only 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now I have upgraded to 32 gigabytes of RAM. I know you guys are probably wondering, most games don't need that. Even if you video editing, you don't need that. I use Unity, which is a game engine. So I do program stuff in Unity and I need something that's going to be able to handle that program. When I have Chrome open, when I need the Google stuff that I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> and Chrome eats up RAM, that eats up RAM. Also, I edit my videos on DaVinci Resolve. So that, even with 16 gigabytes of RAM, I was having situations where the application would shut down or it would freeze and stutter. Now that I have 32 gigabytes of RAM, I do not have those issues. Now, I'm not sure if this motherboard goes up to 64. I have to double check, but I believe that it does. But it was actually cheaper for me to just get another two sets of 16 gigabyte of RAM to throw in here instead of getting two new 64 gigabytes and then trying to sell my old RAM, okay? So technically this build actually costs around 1150 with the upgrade, but without the upgrade, it was about a thousand bucks if I took out, um, the taxes and the LED strip. So it was like 950 if I take all that shit out. Um, the graphics card that I'm rocking is an RX 588 gigabyte. Okay. I know a lot of you guys are probably like, oh my God, that card is ancient. Let me tell you, this card still puts in work. Okay. For 60 frames. Okay. 60 FPS. I'm good to go on this bad boy. All right. I don't have no issues. Okay. The only issue that I was having is if I streamed and played a PC game and let Streamlabs choose to let the graphics card handle that. If I choose it to allow my CPU to handle the streaming situation and let my GPU handle playing the game, everything works perfectly fine, no skip frames. So, if you have a powerful enough CPU, it's okay to skimp out on your GPU if you're not trying to get, okay, this monitor is 144 hertz refresh rate. I am upgrading my GPU in the future, but before I got this monitor, the monitor that I had before was 75 hertz refresh rate. And then this one that I've had for the longest, this is my baby. I got this when I pretty much first moved to this apartment, which was five years ago. This one is 60 hertz cap. So if I'm playing PC games at 60 hertz cap, I don't have an issue with an RX 580. But now that I'm going to be getting the new Black Ops and, you know, I fake want the ray tracing. I don't really want ray tracing. I'm just saying that. But I am going to upgrade my car because my power supply is only a 650 watt. Okay. So I can only go up to cars that can handle, can put into a 650 watt. Because remember, AMD CPUs take up a lot more power than Intel CPUs. So that's another reason why people go with Intel. This takes up 105 watts. And then the GPU, you want to get the minimum recommended specs. Okay. I was going to get a RTX 2060, but because I just looked up the specs of my monitor, I forgot that this is actually a free sync monitor. So I can stick with AMD cards. I don't know if I'm going to go to the 6,000 cards, the new series that is about to drop, or if I'm just going to go to a 5,700 XT. We'll see in the future. Okay. So this is my build, okay? The power supply that I have is a Corsair. I don't remember the boxes in my <laughs> closet, but it's a Corsair semi-modular power supply because I don't like having a bunch of wires. So I made sure I got a power supply that only need, that need to be stuck in is the 24 pin, the CPU pin, and then I can just plug in everything else, you know, the SATA um, drives and obviously my graphics card, okay? 
So this is how it looks on the inside. Okay, I have some pretty neat um, cable management. Okay, I was going to stick it behind the NZXT bar there. Okay, this is an NZXT case. These are regular, like, the case comes with two fans. And then here I bought two more fans. Those are some $12 fans. They do fine. Okay, I don't have no issues. As long as my PC is on the ground collecting dust, it's not going to choke over heavy loads. So I'm perfectly fine with that. Okay. So these are my monitors, okay? This can actually turn, okay, vertically, completely vertical if I wanted it to, but obviously I don't need that right now because I'm not programming, okay? So this is how my setup looks, okay? I'm going to zoom back a little bit, okay? So this is how my setup looks. Okay, I have some pretty neat cable management. I'm not gonna look under my desk because I have a whole bunch of geek fuel boxes from all my geek shit that I get. And it looks a hot mess, but on the top of my desk, okay? The top of my desk, okay, my shelves, looks pretty good, okay? Right? Um, if you want to see how my full setup looks, this is the newest monitor, but if you want to see the monitor that I had before, I'll leave the link in the description down below if you want to go check that out. I will leave these parts and the links in the description down below. If you find anyone, if you want to, you know, build your own PC, and you can find a used 2700X and you buy your own, you know, aftermarket cooler, go for it. I do not overclock my CPU. I lie. I overclock my RAM. But other than that, <laughs> I don't overclock the actual CPU. I don't overclock that part, but I do overclock my RAM because um, two of the RAM sticks are 3000 megahertz and the other two are 3200 megahertz. So I overclock it to uh, 32. Sometimes I get into boot loop issues, so I have to, you know, bring it back down. But for the most part, I can keep it overclocked when I need to overclock it. But I don't really need to overclock anything for the most part, so I'm good to go. But this is my setup, guys, okay? I do need to get a new mouse. Like, this was like some Amazon cheap $20 mouse. I need to get that together. But this keyboard I got from um, Amazon as well, they do not have this in stock anymore. Like... They really don't, okay? And this this keyboard is really freaking dope. I love it. Um, but yeah, this is my setup. Um, th that's my PC. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. I will leave all links to everything that's here down below, okay? That is my Logitech webcam. I got this light ring because I stream in the dark like a weirdo. And sometimes you need to see me because I'm black and you can't see black in the dark. <laughs> but yeah this is my setup guys thank you guys for watching uh, i also have a video just going over this monitor as well and i'll probably be up sometime this week all right guys peace